Good day and welcome to our technical drawing tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the reduction and enlargement of plane figures by length of sides. This time, we'll be using radial line method A and also radial line method B, but that will be in the next video. So, with regards to radial line method A and method B, we'll be focusing on the same question with just one minor adjustment for method B as indicated below. So the construction example tells us construct a quadrilateral using the information given below. Reduce and increase the size of the quadrilateral by using the given ratio. Construct quadrilateral MNOP. Let side MN equal 60 millimeters. Horizontal side MP equal 35 millimeters. Side NO equals 70 millimeters and side OP equals 30 millimeters. Angle PMN is 90 degrees. Our reduction ratio is 3 to 5 and our enlargement ratio is 8 is to 5. We begin this construction by what I like to draw a horizontal line. And we are going to use this horizontal line and uh, permit me to draw it a little darker so that it could be visible on the video as usual. Remember we are using construction lines for these drawings in the initial stage. We are told that the horizontal side MP is 35 millimeters. So we use our set square. Let our radius be equal to the length of that line. Then we establish our line MP. Our line segment. Our next step is to construct our 90 degree angle. We are told that the 90 degree angle is labeled M PMN. So we have the side PM, we just need point N. And a quick construction work right here. It's important to be very careful to ensure accuracy and then we would want to extend that line below our line segment MP in order for us to identify the location for our point N and according to the information given our side MN is 60 millimeters point M is our center our radius 60 millimeters inscribe our arc Label our point so as to lessen our confusion when we continue with our drawing. We now need to locate point O, and the information tells us our point NO is 70 millimeters, or our line NO is 70 millimeters, and our line P. O or OP is 30 millimeters. 
So we first identify the location where our line our lines will meet. Let's use the length of each line as our radius. The first being 70 millimeters in this case. The distance between point N and point O. The existing point becomes our center, which is point N, and our radius, the length of the line. We move now to point O from point P, and we are told that it is 30 millimeters away. Establish our radius, point P our center, inscribe our arc. And that gives us the location for point O, and so still using construction lines, you darken your required, no, you just join the point, sorry, for your required shape. The darkening of the required shape comes at the end of our drawing, our construction. Having done so, we now move to the step required for the use of radial line method A to reduce or enlarge or enlarge the shape. For this, we need to establish a pivot point or point of origin away from the drawing. And so I'm going to uh, place a nice little X, roughly sketch it, just so that I can get two lines that would meet at one particular point. Can I be seen? Let me just darken that a little so that you can see it properly. Or you could use your pencil and just draw a nice little dot on the paper. I was running away from that because I wanted proper visibility on the video and hence the use of the little x. So we have two lines that intersect and I will label that point of intersection Z. At point Z we need to now draw lines that are considered in the text as radial lines or considered in the method as radial lines from point Z through the points of our shape or the edges of our shape. Now I have noticed that my point P is going to interfere with one of my radial lines and so I'm going to relocate that point. Again the location of that point is left to your discretion. So you can choose roughly where you want that point to be located. A simple dot could suffice, but in like manner, we could also use an X where two lines or the point where two lines meet, as I have done in, the, in this tutorial. So my point Z has been relocated, my point of origin, and so you I'd like to extend or draw rather a line from point Z, point of origin, through point P, point M, point O, and point N, the corners of our quadrilateral. so that we could have our reduction and enlargement done. Again, you take your time and ensure that these lines pass directly through those points. To ensure accuracy is maintained. The highest level of accuracy is found when you don't rush your drawing.
but you work at a pace during exams that will allow you to finish. Okay, our next step is after drawing our radial lines from all of the four corners of the drawing and permit me to just darken the required quadrilateral just a little so that it can be visible to lessen any confusion or anyone that might be a little confused as to what we're doing and they will begin to see the actual shape that we're working on so this is our quadrilateral and our radial lines have been drawn we proceed with again another line this one at a angle and length of your choice just like we have done in the previous methods for reduction and enlargement I'm referring to the direct method in the radial line method we also would need a line at any length of our choice and any angle from a point of origin this is Z let's call this W Okay, the ratio for reduction, if we go back to our question, our reduction ratio is 3 is to 5. And just for a quick note, I'm going to put it up on the drawing sheet. And our enlargement ratio is 8 is to 5. Okay. That means that we now need to draw a total of eight arcs, equally spaced arcs, from point Z on our line ZW or ZW. Convenient radius of your choice selected, and you inscribe eight equally spaced arcs using each point of intersection with your arc and line ZW as your new center. Inscribe an arc, that point of intersection becomes your next center. Let me just fix this just a little. Five, six, seven, Eight. Number your points. Our next step, since we are doing a reduction, we use the reduction ratio. The highest number or value in the reduction ratio is five. So that number goes to the original shape, or rather a line is drawn from that point, point 0.5 on our line ZW, and extended to meet the original shape. And for this you can choose any one of the points, but it is best to use the closest, so I'm going to use point N. The closest to this line, I'm going to use point N to minimize any confusion or confusing lines that might pop up. Then, using line N5 as our reference line, we are going to now draw a line parallel to our line 5N at point 3, point 3 being the smallest unit or number in our ratio and that takes us to point N prime. 
having found point N prime, we now draw lines parallel from N prime parallel to MN from N prime and we must ensure that this line drawn parallel to MN from point N prime meets your line ZM. All right, very important that we focus on ensuring that this line meets your line ZM, otherwise our quadrilateral will look like something very different from the original shape. We then slide our set square to point N prime and we draw our line remember it has to go through onto point onto line MZ and that becomes our second point or first side of our quadrilateral M prime we move again this time parallel to our line or our side MP and we move to point M prime and that line would stop or the point P prime will be found where this line meets our line ZP and that's P prime. We continue this time with our line parallel to our side PO from point P prime we draw a line to meet our line ZO and that takes us to our point O prime and we conclude by either drawing a line from N prime to O prime but I prefer to continue with this parallel line method and that will give us the assurance of the total accuracy that we are looking for in our shape. Voila! We continue now with our enlargement since our reduced shape and permit me to just write up the number the letters right there to avoid confusion our reduced quadrilateral has the letters M prime P prime O prime and N prime all right and now for our enlarged shape in order to get this new increase this new shape with an increased size we go to again our number the smallest number in the ratio 5 is to 3 we use that point where it meets the, the side or the edge or the corner of the original shape this in this case it is N our reference line 5N is used and we slide our set square to point 8 the largest number or the next number in our ratio and we draw our line to meet our line extended from point N drawn from point Z. So our line N Z N or Z N extended from point N gives us N double prime. Having found N double prime, we continue with our simple method of drawing sides parallel to our original shape at our new point or corner of our quadrilateral. If you notice this line will not meet. You do not make any adjustments to the parallel line. Instead you extend any of the other lines. In this case I must extend it before I continue. So you extend your line ZO 
at point O to allow for your intersection O prime. At O prime, we use again like we did in our reduction side PO as our reference line. Move to point O. And we look for point P right there. So that gives us P prime and parallel to our side MP. That should be P double prime and O double prime. Please make the necessary corrections to avoid getting confused. At point P, if you notice, my set square will not get to the point I need properly, so we're just going to shift it and refocus. And then slide up to point P double prime and draw a line from point P double prime to meet our line extended from point M that gives us M double prime. Again, you can just join the points, but you know me. I'm going to draw my line parallel from point MN and that gives us the accuracy that we're looking for. A little off, but it's good. With that done, we have now enlarged our shape using the ratio 8 is to 5 and reduced it using the ratio 3 is to 5. So our enlargement ratio, it is to 5. This is enlargement reduction ratio right there. 3 is to 5. And then to conclude, you darken your reduced shape, your enlarged, enlarged shape, and also the original shape. And this brings us to the end of our YouTube tutorial on our video tutorial on the enlargement and reduction of plane figures, quadrilateral in particular, using the length of side method, radial line method, A. Thank you for viewing.